Hello, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. My name's Chris and tonight, as you might guess, I'm doing a bit of imaging. Now, if you'd watched my previous video where I unboxed the new Stellar Lyra F4 Imaging Newtonian, you may assume that I'll be using that tonight, but a combination of things have happened really. One, I need a couple of bits to actually get that up and running. I need a 20mm extension tube to get the correct coma corrector backspacing distance which is 75 millimeters for the Stellar Lyra photovisual coma corrector and quite often you know we're used to using 55 and a lot of coma correctors so I need to get that extension and uh, also uh, it didn't balance with my GEM 45 mount by Optron. I've got one counterweight all the way to the end when I put the camera it was fine with an eyepiece but as soon as I put the coma corrector Fuji on it it just wasn't balancing so I need to rig up something the the cat weights for these are out of stock at the moment so i'm just going to rig some up macgyver style but on top of that uh i've had a couple of requests to actually give the evo star 120 classic achromatic refractor a go for imaging now if i if i use that on the eq5 i use it with normally i don't think i'm gonna get long enough exposures because it is quite a slow telescope f uh, 8.3 so you do need fairly long exposures I think I'd be running at 30 seconds on an EQ5 uh, so I popped it on the Gem 45 that actually does balance okay the imaging train I'm using is the Fuji X-T1 with the with a T-ring and a 2 inch adapter T-adapter with a fil with my Optalon Elenance filter screwed on push fitted into the focuser and it reaches focus fine and tonight I'm just going with what will suit this setup. It's a thousand millimeter focal length. It's galaxy season. So I'm, I'm venturing into Canis Venetiki and I'm imaging M106. And there's also a dwarf galaxy, NGC something in the background. I can't remember the number. I tried three minute exposures, zoomed right in on the stars, a little bit traily. So I've knocked it back to two minutes as a compromise between the signal and, because I need some signal to be able to process the image but I need to offset that against how much the stars are going to trail if I'm unguided. I'm using very much a photographic approach, no PCs, just basically a mirrorless camera on what is effectively a massive telephoto lens. So very basic, it kind of suits my style a lot of the time and uh, two minute exposures, I'll collect as many of those as I can until the battery runs out and uh, stack them in Deep Sky Stacker, pop them into GIMP, which is free to download image manipulation software and just see what I can do with that image. I think I'll leave it there with you guys and I can just show the image at the end and you can see what a Evo Star Classic Refractor does in terms of galaxy imaging. I don't know about anyone else, but I actually started out my imaging journey with a 80 mil achromatic F6 refractor. People don't tend to image with acromats because photographing lo with long exposures tends to really amplify the chromatic aberration that you see. We'll have a look, there's no bright stars in the region so we may get away with it here. And I'll let you know how it goes, you'll be able to see the image at the end. And I just want to say thank you very much for watching everyone and a big thank you to my channel members Dan the Man and the Four Grapples. And until next time, tell those clouds to sod off.